Alright guys, well, um, hi, by the way. Um, we're gonna give it a few seconds before we get started, because I got a lot to explain. Not really a lot, but enough to explain, and... First off, big old problems to Nightmare, working on that Dynasty Warrior stuff, because, I mean, I'm struggling to get, like, the 24, 25 characters I've got, and he's trying to get 300 on that, so... Good luck to him. I do not have the penchant for creative character like he does, apparently. But he's getting close, and it's going to be cool to see his big old gigantic war campaign thing when he gets enough people for that. As such, I have been slightly inspired. Because you know how we've just been kind of doing this WrestleMan thing as a, at my whim, making up little rivalries and matches as I kind of want to. And then I remember there's this little thingy right here that I'm highlighting called WWE Universe Mode. That, um, well, assuming there's enough people paying attention, we'll just kind of start that up real quick. I mean, pretty much, a short version, it simulates the calendar year of the WWE, of the wrestling. Um, by default, I think it's got Raw, SmackDown, and then two weekday um, off shows. And everything that happens on Raw and SmackDown leads to a pay-per-view. There's one pay-per-view a month. You can make more, but one's enough. Um, and you can edit that calendar. And you can add shows to the week. You can take shows away from the week. There has to be at least one show every week to go for the pay-per-view. Because there has to be a pay-per-view every month. Well, what I've done, instead of having Raw and SmackDown, <clears throat> is I've taken both of those shows away. And there are only ZV shows. I have zero virus happening on Mondays, per se. And ZV Showcase happening on Thursdays. Um, let me back up and show you this way. Um, and here in the details, I mean, the show's called Zero Virus, has a big old ZV logo. It, happen, it happens at the ZV Arena. There's 24, that's everybody. There's 24 participants right now, and there's five matches every show. And. The only title defended on this show right now is the ZV Championship. Um, I haven't made tag titles available on this yet because I don't really... I mean, I've only got 25 people, so I don't really want a tag team division yet. There are some tag teams, but we're not going to do tag team titles quite yet. We'll do that after I get some more people made. And on the Thursday show, that is where the Purple Star Championship is defended. And still got the same ZV guys, same number of matches, because that's the least number of matches you can have. I really only wanted about four on one show and three on the other, but... Five and five is good. Um, again, haven't done Tag Division yet, because I want to make some more people, but I'm lazy. So, and anyway, you see down there at the bottom says Rivalries on Zero Virus and ZV Showcase. Those happen... Okay, for example, um, if we go look at the calendar, the first card right here was completely generated at random. And, like, we have Benny versus Sim, um, ZTRL versus Shory, we have Knight versus Random and Rodriguez, and then we got good old Zero versus the Muscle Wizard, and we have Nightmare versus Ed. Um, match six and seven are there. They're not supposed to be, but this was the first show on the default so it was already there um, once it gets around next week this will be fixed and those two matches won't even matter so I haven't even looked at them so I think there's a triple threat match and then there's that which I couldn't get rid of that but when it comes around to the next week on this happens those won't even matter so um, but yeah stuff like see if I can show you yeah, story options. Um, automatic rivalries. Rivalries are generated at random, depending on match outcomes. Um, Royal Rumble winner. 
Undertaker's WrestleMania rivalry, that's not going to matter because there's no Undertaker. Uh, Survivor Series, that'll play out. Tag teams break up and form on their own. Um, crowd reaction, whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, face or heel, that changes on its own. And injuries can happen. We might turn injuries off because there's only 24 of us and I don't really want to lose too many people. Um, if the roster gets too thin, we'll either turn that off or I'll make some more people. But, so this is kind of a way to kind of organically let the old ZV universe happen. And I'm kind of interested to see how it'll go. So, assuming anybody's paying attention after that very long-winded explanation, you guys ready to see what happens? I also noticed I gained like three or four people during that explanation, so if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. This is the first match of the good old ZV card. It's going to be Benny versus Sim. Um, we can simulate where it just simulates the results, but that's no fun. And this is the opening match of the whole shit. I also made two set. I don't know if I pointed this out, but I made two separate arenas. One for Zero Virus and one for ZV Showcase. I will warn you, the Zero Virus arena, you've probably seen before, and it's a little tacky, but I love it. I can't remember if I turned the entrances off. If I left the entrances on, we're going to skip them because I haven't made anybody's entrance of these new people. And you can't hear the music anyway, so it's just nowhere near as cool. But yeah, ZV is hell. Yeah, I know I didn't make Benny's entrance, so... I'll let you see his entrance attire, at least. What the hell is... I'm not sure what, that's what I'm talking about, but okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Skipping that. I'm going to skip Sims too, because I didn't make his entrance either. And here's the fun part. Um... I can I can join the match <clears throat> and I can play as Benny. I can play as whoever I want or I can just watch the match. Of course I don't want to play as anyone. These are just going to kind of let it happen. So we're just going to kind of watch and whoa, there we go. Sim with a nice takedown on Benny. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<clears throat> oh, nice clothesline. And they tie up again. And a big hole just throws him to the ground. <laughs> oh, Sim went for a chop and Benny answers viciously. A nice combo and a wonderful leg takedown. Good little hip toss for you to see him right back to chopping. Oh! Sam went for a head scissors and Benny was having none of that with a nice little power bomb that just crushes his leg. Oh, but Sam answers with a jawbreaker. Oh, it shows him a head scissors of his own. That's how it's done, Sim. Oh, a nice European uppercut. Oh, goes for that head scissors again, just gets dropped on his face. Sim just cannot get it done. Swift elbows. Oh, it's just a spinning heel kick out of nowhere. That has a name. I don't remember what it is. Personally, I think it's kind of a silly move, but I mean, it looks cool. Oh, <laughs> just a straight. Oh. A straight combo, but he missed that kick then. Once again, Benny shows him how to properly do that head scissors and goes for the pin. One, two, ah, oh, Sim kicks out not quite enough to put him away. Yeah, he goes for the arm bar, but Sim's having none of that with a vicious forearm. This fireman's carry, get it out of that. Sim just cannot get a leg up on Benny. Sim was holding his own there for a while, but Benny seems to have an answer for everything he does, and oh, just drop kicks him in the head. And Benny's taking a breather. Letting Sim get up to his feet, lulling him into a false sense of security, right? Right. And Sim just turns him around, picks him up for a nice backdrop. Oh no, Sim's going over the top rope. He's got something big planned. Oh! Well, <laughs> Benny's gonna climb to the top rope and show him how it's done proper. Oh! Just stomps on his chest. So brutal. Oh, big spinning. Another big spinning roundhouse of his own goes for the cover. One, two, and Sim manages to kick out of that somehow. I don't know. That was one hell of a kick. Oh. A nice northern light suplex. Looks like Benny was going for the final blow, but Sim wasn't having any of that. A little rolling thunder action. Yes, that's what it's called. One, two, and Benny manages to kick out of that. Oh, a nice big drop kick. Picks him up and throws him into the turnbuckle. And we just plants him. Oh no. Oh damn, a nice split legged moonsault. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Benny still manages to kick out. Benny barely able to get to his feet. Sim, they get up at the same time, actually. Sim just grabs him by the head and tosses him over. A nice headlock on him. And tosses Benny out of the ring, follows him right out. 
It's getting real. Actually going to the outside. Oh, it just kicks him in the stomach. Yeah. Whoa! Sneaks through with an egg breaker. Oh, Benny blocks the blow and counters with his own punch. Sim counters that. Oh, Benny's had enough of that. Starts throwing him back in the ring. That nice clubbing blow and a big boot. The boot. Yeah. Benny rolls back in and again takes a breather. I think he is seriously underestimating Sim here. Giving him time to breathe. Throws Sim into the corner for once. Oh, ho, ho, kicks him in the back and then just drops the elbow. Oh, Ed, how I wish you could throw off his chairs in this game. Oh, thought he was going for a fisherman su suplex, but no. Benny counters with a northern light suplex of his own. Inside's to go for the pin after that. One, two, and uh, still manages to kick out. This has been a very interesting and competitive match for ZV's opening contest. Ever. Not sure what the hell that was. Oh, Sim's going to drag him out. Could he be? Oh, oh, it goes for the pin. One, two, and Benny still manages to kick out. Sim cannot put him away. Oh, Benny answers. Oh, big spinning roundhouse. Goes to the cover. One, two. Sam tosses him into the corner. Oh no, this is going to be a German. Oh, a German suplex right off the top. Could he be? Could he be? Five star frog splash goes for the pin. This might be it, guys. One, two. Oh, Benny still manages to kick out that beautiful frog splash. Man, Sam's getting desperate just clubbing Benny in the back. <laughs> Kicks him in the back of the head. Hoists him up, snaps him back over, and goes for another headlock. But Benny's having none of that, gives him a headlock of his own. Benny looked like he was going for that kick again, but he keeps doing it at the most inopportune time. And what? What the hell was that? Oh my god. And it doesn't even phase Benny. Benny just sizing it up. Oh, here we go. Oh, a knockout kick. That might be it, guys. Goes for the pin. One, two, three, and just like that. Out of nowhere with that. Benny tried so hard to get that kick to happen. When he finally connected, that was it. Here's Benny off the top rope. A nice stomp right to Sim's chest. I really thought that was going to be it. But he chose not to go for the cover and went for that big roundhouse again. He goes for the cover but cannot get it done. See, he went for that kicking in. Sam pulled off a northern lights of his own. And followed it up with a little rolling thunder. That's a senton splash. But Benny was ever resilient and was not going down. Even after this wonderful combination 
of a German suplex right on the back of his head off the top rope. He follows it up with his pitcher perfect frog splash. It was right for the cover. But Benny would not die. And then finally with Sim laid out on the ground, he sets it up with a big kick. And your winner. That is one hell of a match to start this all out. I don't even remember what's next. Oh, oh this should be an interesting one. ZTRL versus Shory. ZTRL is a little bit of a high flyer, and Shory is very much the te mat technician. This is going to be a very, very big contrast of styles. Should be interesting. As we wait patiently. Yeah, we might have to turn intros off just because it'll cut down the load time ridiculously. But at least these two do have entrances. Even if you can't hear the music. ZTRL just coming out with all that smug swagger. And then these fucks, nobody cares who they are. I'm doing all the commentating here, right? Right. And mysteriously, out of nowhere. Comes the one time former Zero Virus champion himself, Shori Urepa. Shori has proven himself a true contender on numerous occasions. He has been a beast in many Royal Rumble matches. He has dominated Elimination Chambers and is definitely a force to be reckoned with in the old ZV Wrestleman's universe. And has a sweet haircut. And once again, like I said, I can play, since Swim missed this part apparently, I can play as I want, if I want to, and I can choose which character I want to play as, but it's more fun to kind of let it happen naturally, so we're just going to let this go. This should be interesting. Shory starts out throwing him into the, oh, it starts out big with a tilt world backbreaker. And starts clubbing away his ETRL. Decide to tie up after that quick exchange. Oh! I'm sure he's just throwing out some punches and kicks. Fakes out his ETRL. Thought he was going to throw him out. Go straight to a knee to the stomach. Oh, ZTRL manages a counter. 
Puts him in his own hammerlock. Shory just flips it around. You were not going to out wrestle. I'm sorry, but you were not going to out wrestle Shory. Shory is a great mat technician. If the ninja wants to win this, he's going to have to be faster and he's going to have to fly. Pull out some quick moves, some high flying tricks. But in a straight up wrestling, hold for hold wrestling match, Shory will probably beat him. So <laughs> DTRL is taking the fight outside. And throws him into the ring and starts kicking him in the head. And stomping on him. That's what ninja, the ninja is going to have to do. But like I said, if this, were, if this was just a straight up wrestling match, it would be in Shorty's favor. But oh, a vicious flurry out of ZTRL. Quickly runs back in the ring to beat the count. Which is up to... Oh, for a second, Shory thought about leaving, but nope, he gets back in the ring, and the ninja's just, oh, skirts around for a neck break. Shory's not having any of it. Oh, and Shory answers with some blows of his own. And this is turning into a slugfest. Shory can't make up his mind. Shory... Nice snap suplex. Shory's trying to slow this back down into an actual wrestling match. With a stomp to the face. That's totally legit in wrestling. Picks him up and Ninja counters quickly with a nice punch. Oh! Good old fashioned ground and pound. Can't go wrong there. Oh, Shory trying to play his game with a big drop, leg drop, comes up to the second turnbuckle and just drops the elbow right on him. Ninja's not having none of that. Tossed into the corner. Oh, quick elbow. Another quick drop kick. That's the only way he's going to win this is to rely on that speed and quickness. Shory into the corner himself. Pulls him out. Oh! Oh! Nice tricky kick right there. Sets him up for a fisherman's driver, I think. Oh! Ninja going up top. Oh! Beautiful! Nice little swan dive there. But Shory quickly counters with a uppercut. <laughs> Get it, Shory. An uppercut. <laughs> oh, just snaps his leg. And just sits in back. Wrenching those arms with knee right in the back. That's gotta be painful. Oh! Drops him right on his head. That's gonna hurt his head and the and the upper back. There's a little snap there. Just kicks him right in the back. Shorty is really targeting that back area. He must be setting him up for something later. <laughs> and. DTRL just tosses him on his back. He might as well sit down on his own leg. Just into the corner once again. Oh! Beautiful. That is called a whisper in the wind, by the way. One... Two. And oh, Shory kicks out at the last minute. Those were a nice Northern Light suplex. Everybody has those. Nice to pick it up. He's going up top. This might be it. Oh! That was a very awkward swanton dive. Well, that's enough for a replay. He goes for the pin. One, 
two. Oh, and Shorey kicks out at the last minute. That is a bit of a surprise. The ninja has got to keep this up. He's got to keep on the gas pedal, keep pounding away. And at any given moment, Shorey's going to counter out of this just like this. Nice harm breaker. That one opening may be all Shorey needs. Nice swinging neck breaker. Well, this could be it. Yes, it's a pile driver. And Shorey is getting his momentum back. Goes for the cover. One, two, oh. Detarel managed to kick out of that. But I have a feeling Shorey is not done. Tosses him into the corner once again. It's usually a setup for something big. Oh! Ho, ho. Flips him upside down, traps him up, and just goes for the kicks. And, oh! Ho, ho. Goes for the cover after the double stomp. One, two. Oh, I'm sure he's not having any of that. Rolls him out into the middle of the ring and just stomps on his arm. A little snap in there. Drags him down for a nice headlock. But Shorey answers with a headlock of his own. Going for that fisherman driver again. Ninja going up top once again. He might be going for another Swanton. If he hits it, that will be it. Oh, went for a big leg drop, but he took too long. Shorey tries to counter, but still gets kicked in the face. Oh. Goes for a DDT, but he counters into a Northern Lights for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Shorey manages to kick out. Oh, ZTRL is gassed. He's just about tapped out, looking a little tired there. Still manages the clubbing blow to Shorey's back. With his own little snap suplex. I think ZTRL is running out of ideas. He does not know how to put Shorey away. He's throwing everything he's got at him, and he keeps getting up. Ah, oh, picks him up for the side effect. You've got to go for the cover here, kid. I'm not sure that's going to do it. Shorty will just not go away. Oh, Shorty tosses him to the corner. Oh, powerful kick in the corner. Oh, no. What's he doing? Oh, no. Oh no, it's a he puts him in a figure four leg lock around the turnbuckle. He can't win it like that, but he can cause some serious damage to that leg. And if ZTRL loses that leg, he loses his ability to fly, and that takes out his main offensive move. And Shuri knows it. He is going for those legs hard. Goes for the pin outside for some reason. And the referee followed. Pretty sure this isn't a falls count anywhere match. Otherwise, the referee wouldn't be counting. Oh, throws him into the steel post. And once again, DTRL slides back into the ring at the count of six. Hoping for a count out victory here. That's a seven. Sure, he might not get up. Oh. Count of eight, can he get up? And nine, and just barely skates back in. And this match continues, but Shorty comes back with a vengeance, another neck breaker. 
tries to pick him up, but ZTRL sweeps him out. And then just setting up for something big once again. Oh, picks him up with a twist of fate. Tags him out and goes for the cover. This might be it. One, two. Oh, and Shorty kicks out again. Oh, ZTRL has got to be frustrated at this point. He has hit him with literally every finisher I have no I know ZTRL's got. Shorty picks him up, sets him on the top turn of him. Looks like he's calling for a superplex. Off the top rope and oh comes crashing down. Picks him up, but the ninja counters with a jawbreaker. Oh, tosses him into the corner once again. He has tried this a lot tonight, but not a lot of success. Shorty counters. <laughs> ninja counters with an elbow. Flips him over, gets him a nice little head scissors. Starts pounding away. Trying to wear him down, but it's not working. Goes for the cover. One, two and beats him by elbowing him in the head. Guys, we thought that first match was back and forth. This one was literally a war of attrition. ZTRL threw everything he had at him and quite literally just wore Shorty down where he just could not fight back. That's the only way he won this. A little anticlimactic, but you gotta admit there's some great action going on. I'll admit, Shorey did not get the offense going I expected him to, but he definitely lasted. There's a little bit of that good offense in that pile driver. That was a nice move. I really thought he was gonna get more done after that, but. I'll admit, ZTRL definitely put in the miles for this match. And deserve the win after all that. Even the twist of fate was not enough to put Shorey away. He really just had to. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay, we're not watching this anticlimactic ending, but And here is your winner. Your friendly neighborhood ninja ZTRL. Oh, right. That was a thing. Let's see what's up next on the card. Well, oh, the ninjas are at it again. This is going to be night versus random. This should be an interesting matchup. <laughs> Don't really have anything to say during these. This is when I usually take a sip of my beverage. I suggest you do the same. Here he comes, just right out of the crowd. Here comes Knight. As if emerging from the shadows, except there's no shadow. Very calmly and casually approaches the ring.
Let's see if it can handle everyone's favorite crazy hobo. I really wish you could hear his music. Because it really just makes this dance so much better. And here he comes down to the ring random with his trusty companion, Rodriguez. All right, enough of that. Let's get right into the action. Again, not going to play this one. Just going to watch and do my wonderful award-winning commentary. Oh, Random's not holding back at all. <laughs> he just starts by tossing him right out of the ring. Oh, a nice clubbing blow from the back. Oh, and the knight answers. Vicious right hands and a chop. Tossing him into the barricade and dumping him right on the floor. Uh, this green ninja looks like he's not ready for any random shit. Tosses him into the corner. Wow. Oh, besides, get back in the ring. Oh. <laughs> random running around like a crazy man smacks right into night. And Knight once again just picks him up and tosses him to the ground. <laughs> oh, went for something. The random swung out of it. Delivers a net breaker of his own. They're just counting each other right and left. Oh, just a straight dead sucker punch. Knight right out of nowhere. Nice clothesline in the bulldog out of the corner. Starts wrenching the neck. For a second, I got level with you guys. I'm very proud of how random turned out. I mean, I was just, wasn't, I mean, he's not perfect, but I do like his dirty pants and his patchy shirt and the shoes. No, it looks like a hobo to me. It's a nice little backdrop. It's a happy little backdrop. Oh, it goes for the cover pretty soon. One, two, but that's not going to be enough to put Knight away. It kicks him right in the back. Oh, Knight just hops up out of nowhere like a ninja or something. Tosses Knight into the corner. One corner to the next and follows up with a clothesline but misses. Knight quickly grabs him from behind. Delivers up. Ow! A crotch grabbing. Suplex starts wrenching the head away. Coincidentally, unrelated to everything, guys, for some reason, you know how I give everybody a, I can name some people and I can give them announcers' names? But, okay, but like, some people, like, the announcer will say Knight, the announcer will say Nightmare, the announcer will say Tony. A nice little suplex by Knight. But for some reason, the, even though they're like pre-programmed names that the announcers will actually say, the only one the commentators talk about is Knight. I've heard the commentators say Knight's name before. But they don't say Tony's, they don't say Nightmares. Oh, random going for the cover. One, two, and Knight kicks out of it. I just think it's weird. Out of all the normal names I give people, it'll say Knight, but it won't say Nightmare. I mean, the announcers. It's weird. Anyway, back enough of my rambling. Back to the action at hand. 
Not the discount, this discount, this back and forth match. And with another quick elbow. Kicks him in the stomach. Could be looking for it. Oh, nice pile driver. He's not done there. Picks him right back up. Snaps him over. And starts wrenching the arms. Trying to wear him down. Mike manages to fight out of it. Goes for the suplex. Oh, random counters with a kick to the head. Very impressive from the hobo. Knight has none of that and tosses him to the ground. Goes for the cover. One. And only the one count. I'm surprised the ref counted that. That was awfully close to the ropes. Didn't think he would allow that, but... Knight tosses him around. Going for that double underhook suplex. Oh, dropping random. Right on the back of his head. Snapmare takeover. And goes back to a nice headlock. Trying to ground that crazy hobo. Random finally fights out of that headlock. Tosses Knight into the corner. Oh, tries to go for another clothesline to the back of the head, but Knight's ready for that encounter. Oh, random with a nice pump handle slam. Drags him out, out to the yeah, drags him out to the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover with a one and a two, and a Knight kicks out at two. Not quite enough to put him away. But Random's doing a great job of staying on the offensive here. Knight hasn't had a good offensive flurry in a while. Once again, goes for that bulldog out of the corner. He starts clubbing away at Knight's back. Got to admit, in the latter part of this match, oh, up until there, Random had done a pretty good job of maintaining dominance. Goes for a quick cover after the leg sweep. One, two... Now we're near enough to put a random away. It can take more than a simple leg takedown to take out the crazy hobo. Oh, it just clubs him in the back of the head. Wants to perch him up on the top rope. Climbs up after him. Goes for that big backdrop. Oh! Hickley picks him back up, tosses him into the corner once again. Apparently one back drop wasn't enough. Tosses him out of the corner. Gives him a beautiful spinning uppercut. Kicks him in the back. And just stomps on him. All else fails. And picks him up. Nice flapjack. That's not a flapjack. I don't know what that is. Knight going outside, going for a nice springboard move, I bet. A oh, nice springboard sent on. Oh, that was it. And we now have a bleeding hobo. Random is busted open. Counters with a Russian leg sweep. Apparently, the blood has enraged the hobo. Oh, it goes for a little jab. Oh, punching Knight in the face. And one, two. Oh, at the last minute. Oh, the... Oh, he's going for the pump handle slam once again. That might be enough. This with the cover immediately this time. One, two, 
three, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Maximum blood, indeed. Apparently, busting old random open was not the right answer, Knight. You might have been able to handle a crazy hobo, but not a blood-raged hobo. Well fought that victory. Nice kick to the stomach and a swift DDT. Random was definitely in control of this fight. To Ed's point, nobody said it was his blood. Just saying. But Knight managed to counter very quickly with an elbow, but Random was right there with a pump handle slam. The first pump handle slam was not quite enough to put Knight away, but it was the beginning of the end. And once again, that second pump handle gets him in the corner. One, two, three, and that is it for this one. So far, so good for a nice mat, a nice night of ZV fighting. That was match three. So coming up next, and this should be quite an interesting affair: the legend himself, Zero Bloodline, versus the Muscle Wizard, Mantello Flex. In the words of one great announcer once upon a time, this is going to be a slobber knocker. All right, real quick, while this is loading, I'm going to ask you guys, and I'll get your opinion. Do you want me to play this one or not? I kind of, part of me doesn't want to because I don't want to, because let's be honest, if I play, I'm going to play hard, and I'm probably going to win, so I don't really want to taint things with the organicness of this. But if you guys want me to play this, I'll play it. You guys think about that. Take a bite of rice. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm I'm the champion. I also come out in a motorcycle. <laughs> I totally forgot that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just kinda... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let this kinda organically, naturally happen. But... Yeah, I'm the ZV champion, by the way, cause... Actually, you, um... This has nothing to do with, you know, normal play, and I happen to be the champion there, too. But... When you make the shows, you have to actually set the champions. So I'm the ZV champion, and you guys just have to wait for the next episode to see who is the Purple Star champion. And here he comes. Mantello Flex, the Muscle Wizard. Thank you, Purple. I actually worked really hard on getting that jacket good. I mean, yeah, it's awfully shiny, but... I guess I could fix that, too, but I like the shiny. And yes, I'm eating some rice while I wait for the intro. It's good. Come to me. The Muscle Wizard looks ready to fight. How very kind of me to get out of the ring. And that top rope meant nothing to the muscle wizard. 
Um, to answer Ed, yes, these initial these opening matches were completely set by random. I didn't set them. And what they're supposed to do is the rivalries and such are supposed to grow naturally from these matches. And ultimately, they'll um, most of them will culminate at a pay-per-view. Some you can I know you can set them as short rivalries or long rivalries, but I'm just going to let them go naturally as they as they want to. Um, like I said, I can set them up. I don't want to. I just want this to happen as naturally as I can. Anyway, I'm going to let this go while I ramble. Don't do anything cool while I'm talking. Oh, we go right into a tie-up. And I muscle the muscle wizard into the corner. Look at me. Open for the clean break. And we get it. Going for the tie-up again. Muscle wizard gives me a headlock and tosses me down. It just punches me in the face. Not cool. Muscle wizard going back for the collar and elbow tie-up once again. This time I get the headlock. Turn it into a hammer lock. Oh, Muscle Wizard counters into an arm bar. Yeah, it just tosses me aside. Oh, but I swing around and close. Zero, I need to stop talking like I'm in the first person, like I'm in this match. Zero with a nice fireman's carry. Oh, beautiful Enzigurish. Right to the Muscle Wizard's head. Not gonna lie, I'm a little biased in this match. Just saying. Oh, Muscle Wizard. Up. Oh, win for the suplex, but Muscle Wizard countered into a crossbody. That hurt. Yeah, follows me to the follows zero to the outside. Damn it, I need to stop that. It slams zero into the turnbuckle. Into the corner post. Wrenching Zero's head. Ah, but Zero gets up and sweeps and starts stomping away. Picks up the Muscle Wizard and skirts back into the ring before the count is up. Manages to dodge that punch somehow. A nice swift knee. Oh, followed up by a jawbreaker. Beautifully countered. Oh, went for the big punch. Zero counters with a punch of his own. Beautiful gut wrench suplex. Picks the muscle wizard up. Flips him down. Nice backdrop. Oh, goes for the cover. It is way too early for that. I doubt the religion himself can even be the muscle wizard with a simple backdrop. He's pounding away on his head. That big shiny target up there. He flips him over. He slams his face into the mat. Anyway, to the point I was trying to get to earlier. Oh, nice counter. Um, yes, these matchups, the rivalries, they're supposed to grow naturally um stuff like you know crowd reaction like if you're a good guy or a bad guy if they cheer or boo you uh oh here we go for the counter after the fall away slam and with only a two count but um yeah stuff whether you're a heel or face like good guy or bad guy that's completely random generated depending on your performance in the matches and stuff so yeah right now I'm a good guy but I might be a bad guy next week who knows we're just going to kind of let this play out. Oh, no. Muscle Wizard with a big old Gorilla Press Slam. Ah, the Zero Counters with a European Uppercut. Oh, Muscle Wizard showing his power. Getting Zero in a vicious headlock. But Zero starts to slowly power out of it. A few quick elbows to the stomach. Oh, goes for the roll-up. Oh, a kick right to the face. I'm a little tired after that one. Zero going full speed there for a while. Guys, rest up while he can. Stomping away on the muscle wizard. 
He needs to keep that pressure going. He's gonna keep the big man down. Oh, picks him up for a nice neck breaker. Oh, Zero's getting poised and ready. Could be looking for that reverse DDT, the Scorpion Death Drop. Spins him around and bam, drops him on the back of his head. And goes for the cover. One, two, ho! Oh. And the Muscle Wizard manages to kick out. The ZV Champion almost put him away. But I doubt the legend himself is done with this one. Tosses him into the corner. Slams him right back into it. <laughs> nice German suplex. I don't even know if I do that move. That's cool. Anyway. Picks him up with a nice kick to the back. The reigning Zero Virus Champion definitely showing his dominance in the ring right now. Bounces off the ropes with a nice insecurity to the back of the head. Flips him over and just stomps away at his leg. Oh no, oh no, oh, and a quick kick to the stomach, not the balls. Another swift kick to the back. Tossing the muscle wizard into the corner. Once again, picking him up, gonna perch him up on that top rope. Climbs up after him, go for that. Big super drop backdrop. Off the top rope. Well, Zero suffers a little damage on his own off of that one. He <laughs> decides to stomp on his back for good measure. Takes him, goes for DDT, but it's countered. Oh, somehow kicks him in the face from behind. Yay, glitches. Muscle Wizard is showing his first real sign of attack in this match. Oh, and just sits on his arm. Spins him around. Just starts crushing Zero's head. Oh, no. Wearing Zero down and tossing him to the mat. Quickly goes for the cover. One, two. High and Zero manages to kick out. Much to the Muscle Wizard's surprise, Zero is slowly getting to his feet. Old oh, Flex is ready for him, tosses him into the corner. Tries to hoist him way up high for a change. Lines up after him. Oh, big side suplex off the top rope. And admires his handiwork. Goes for the cover. One, two. That was a mistake. He should have went for the cover instantly instead of just standing around admiring his handiwork. He's going to come to regret that. Oh, goes for a pump handle slam of his own. That's poisoned, ready for something big. What's coming now? Oh, double handed choke slam. Goes for the cover. One, two, high and zero kicks out of the last minute. The muscle was getting desperate here. Trying to put the legend himself away, just starts clubbing and stomping away at him. A nice snap, Mary. And just goes right into the headlock. Muscle Wizard relying on his strengths, his muscles. As long as he doesn't cast Fist, I think the legend himself will be okay. Those are suplex just snaps into the ground. Rolls him over. 
Oh, stomps down on his back with his ass. He stomps on his back with his foot. Oh, just wa literally walking over zero. Oh, and starts crushing his skull once again. Zero may have gone too hard, too fast, too early. He might not have the strength to pull this off. One, two. Ah, a quick kick out after that. Zero's gonna have to kick it into second gear very soon if he wants to pull this one out now. Up goes for a nice counter. Nice spinning neck breaker. Poison set him up. He could be going for the super kick again. Spins him around. Oh, he's going for another scorpion death drop. And the crowd erupts. Goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, and the muscle wizard kicks out at the last second. Oh, Zero thought he had that one. Everybody did. Well, that might be the second win the legend himself wanted. Oh, he's spitting blood now. Goes for the cl Oh, he's making a comeback here, boys. Nice power slam. Rolls him up. Nice short kick. Oh, straight to the face. Drags him out to the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, out of nowhere, the legendary Zero Bloodline pulls it out. In the beginning of the match, Zero playing the Muscle Wizards game, slugging out and then just tosses him away with a follow away slam. I have to admit, that was a pretty interesting match. Zero dominated a good part of it, and the Muscle Wizard came out of nowhere. Almost had an upset on the ZV champion, but in the end. After a couple of scorpion death drops and a couple of kicks to the face, that was more than enough for Zero to put him away. Uh, beautiful roll up and kicks him right in the face, right on the chin. Goes, drags him out to the middle of the ring, goes for the cover. Truth be told, guys, that was actually a nice classic. And a good guy, bad guy match. The good guy does some things, the bad guy starts beating his ass, and the good guy comes back out of nowhere with the victory. Actually, I don't even know, I don't even remember if Muscle Wizard's a bad guy or not. I think he is. Anyway, here is your winner, and still, ZV Champion. Not that that was a title match, but anyway. Up next for us, this is going to be a doozy right here, boys. This is going to be Nightmare versus Supremus. Oh, my. This should be a very, very interesting contest. Also very disappointed, un unrelated. Well, actually, very related. Um, I wish you guys could hear the music, because I actually worked hard on these guys' intros. These are actually pretty good. I, mean, I guess I could turn the microphone on, turn the TV up, but I've actually got it coming through my headphones right now. And I'd had to switch some things around. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Their intros are actually really, really good. I may have played them for you before. Um. Oh yeah, his lights are messed up. Because... Look who is the Purple Star Champion in this little scenario. It seemed appropriate to be the first official Purple Star Champion.
in any case, um, Nightmares music is actually a ripoff of a ripoff of Smells Like Teen Spirit. I'll explain that some other time. But. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. I like this ripoff of the ripoff better than I like the ripoff. Does that make sense? And Ed's music is just inspiring and anime as fuck. I figured that'd be appropriate. And look, green flashes. And also, there's wind. Get it? Because he's supremacist. This should be quite an interesting match. I'm actually looking forward to this one. And, wait for it. And, but we will. Don't know why he does that. He just does. I'm just going to watch this one. Purple and green, Nightmare and Ed. This is the tie right away. Push them into the ropes. That's for the clean break. He's right back to the tie up. Purple pulls him in for the headlock. Turns it into a hammer lock. Just tosses him to the ground with a nice little leg sweep. Supreme is very surprised by that one, not quite ready for that. Nightmare tosses him into the ropes and just. Oh, sling blade! Drags him to the ground. It just kicks him in the head for good measure. Shoves him into the corner again. I'll look at that one for one second. And let's get the clean break again. Good job, guys. Nice way to be sportsmanlike. As Ed's now pushing Nightmare into the corner. Trying to have a nice sound technical match here, apparently. <laughs> and, you know, Purple said, fuck that, and starts throwing hands. Tries to pick him up. Ed counters into a face buster. Causes Nightmare out of the ring. And follows after him very quickly. Oh! <laughs> nice, nice jabs and chops. Beautiful Russian leg sweep on the outside. And Nightmare trips him up. Someone's wrenching away. Better hurry up. Counts up to six. Nightmare swings back in the ring. Can Ed get in there in time? Just does get in there on the eight count. Muscle arm wrench. Hut and purple counters with a nice kick. And another nice kick. Beautiful spinning heel kick. He's <laughs> stomping away. Oh, Nightmare is bringing the fight with his feet to Supremus. Supremus, Supremus quick to counter with a backdrop. <laughs> Just like a few swift feet of his own. He goes for the punch, but Nightmare just pushes him out of the way. Ed counters with a beautiful fireman's carry. Into a swinging neck breaker. Oh, he just starts 
punching him in the face. All else fails. Punch him in the face. Gets to the cover one. Only the one count. Way too early to call this one, Supremus. He knees him in the back. Slams his hand into the ground. Even Purple a little shaken there. Oh, a nice clubbing elbow straight to the back. Another one for good measure. Purple counters with an elbow of his own. Trying to show Ed how it's done. It's a nice roll oh, flapjack straight on his face. That's yeah, not going to do Nightmare any favors. Well, drags him out to the middle of the ring. Could he be going for a pin? Still only a one count. It is desperate to finish this match early. Trying a little too hard, if you ask me. But if all else fails, punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, nice arm breaker. Picture perfect DDT. Nice submission move. Got a purple tied up in the middle of the ring. And goes for the cover. One, two. And actually gets the two count this time, but still not enough. And Ed cannot believe it. Look at the shock on his face. Oh, it's time for another quick jab. To rearrange Purple's face once again. Oh, dirty deeds. Nice double on the hook suplex. Oh, goes for the two count. He stop calling it Dirty Deeds because that's what the official wrestler calls his version. It's really it's just a double underhook DDT. Oh, <laughs> just smudging Nightmare's face into the canvas. Uh, Supremus, what do you have against Nightmare's face, really? I mean, seriously, Ed. Uh, tosses him to the outside and follows suit quite quickly. Oh, just begging Nightmare to get up. with a kick to the stomach. Spins him around for a quick <laughs> a quick clothesline. Okay, words, zero. <laughs> Beautiful action we're seeing as Supremus beats up Nightmare under the apron where we can't see shit. Both opponents slide back in the ring real quick. He goes for the pig chop. Oh, Nightmare. Swift kick to the face. Here's the cover. One, two. <laughs> oh, flips him around. And decides to get him in a headlock. Trying to damage that purple face some more. Yeah, purple slowly fighting out of it. Oh, beautiful power bomb into the bridging pin. And just like that, Supremus pulls it off. That was a beautiful pinning combination, enough to put Nightmare away. Oh, this this story of this match was in fact. Let's see how much we can wreck Nightmare's face. And the Purple Star Champion has been defeated. This might pose interesting for the next Thursday's show.
I did in quotations because that's what's on the fake calendar. But this will be interesting for the next episode where the ZV Championship, the Purple Star Championship, is contended on a regular basis. Oh, <laughs> there's another one of those sucker punches. And there he is with that double underhook DDT. He goes for the cover. Not quite enough to put Purple away. Nightmare, nightmare fights out of that. And <laughs> a beautiful knee right to Nightmare's face. Sets him up for that beautiful power bomb with the bridging pin. And that is it. Nightmare cannot fight out of this and the three count. And your winner with an upset victory over the Purple Star Champion is Supremus. That might be. Hopefully that buds into something interesting. I'm gonna exit out of this right there because the next match is and that's the next pay-per-view. Four weeks away at Extreme Rules. Cause I want to see if okay is that was only supposed to be five matches on the card. So I want to see if it's I guess we, I forgot about this one. I thought this was next, but um, this one we're just gonna simulate because it's not gonna matter. Because, like I said, these guys aren't even in the lineup anymore. But we can have a fun little triple threat match between the Angry Blue Ninja, Rian, and Renegade, right? Right. Ah, crap. I should have turned off intros. Eh, we'll just skip them. It'll be alright. Oh... Oh, Marks. I hope Marks gets into some kind of rivalry before Extreme Rules because Extreme Rules, uh, anything goes. And he could potentially have a ladder match at Extreme Rules. And wouldn't that be something for Marks to end up in a ladder match? It's always fun. Take another bite of rice. You know what, Sorm? I've already thought about that. If I could find a way to make it happen, I would have already done it. But alas, I can't put Marks versus a ladder. I don't remember if I gave her an intro or not. Oh, this is the angry blue ninja. He's angry. See? Look how angry he is. <laughs> angry eyes. He's the angriest ninja. Just no! No! So angry. <laughs> It has been a very ninja-filled night. No! So angry. Ah.
Oh, look at there. Everybody's favorite powerhouse, Rian Galford. I didn't to swim, but I was corrected once, so I'm pretty sure it's Rian. I thought it was Ryan too, but I've I've been told it was Rian, so that's what I said. This would be a quite interesting little matchup. Okay, yeah. I can tell you right now, I didn't give Rennie an intro, so... I really need to not be lazy. Nah, we're not gonna play this one. And <laughs> Rennie's going out, coming out the gate. And Rennie not having any of that. That's going to get confusing to say. I'm going to warn you right now. Rennie, Rian, and Angry Blue Ninja. <laughs> Rennie was standing. Hmm. Moonsault, okay. Oh! That's right, triple threat rules. Anything goes. And Rian goes straight for the baseball bat. He's not having anybody shit. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> this. Oh, this is not going to be my best commentating job. I'm just going to kind of let this one play out. Hopefully some silliness happens since this triple threat and anything goes. We've already got a baseball bat in the ring. <laughs> oh, nice clothesline. That Rian fucking up everybody in the Russian leg sweep. Oh, and the ninja with a quick backdrop. Rennie trying to decide who he's going after. I would love to see him gang up on Rian. That would be great. I mean, yeah, I mean, great. Oh, it almost happened, but Rian fought out of it. Oh, and the ninja turns on him. Just all three of them trading blows. Oh, no, double team on Rennie. Oh, double DDT. Ah oh, crap, I just remember this is a triple threat match. And you have to you have to win by pinfall or submission. And there's no way that's gonna happen. And, you know, one guy's not gonna watch the other guy pin the third guy. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Ah, but the ninja tosses Rian outside and Renegade just kinda stands there and lets it happen. Oh, tossing Rian into the corner. Tossing the ninja into the barricade. Oh, a nice swift neck breaker. Oh, just big clubbing blows. Look at Rini throwing haymakers out there. Rian spins him around. Oh, just a big old cluster foot. Nice pull Nelson suplex. And he picks him up, up oh, into a fireman's carry. So much for that plan. Yeah. And Rennie's just gonna sit back and let this play out. Good move, Rennie. Oh, sneaks up on the ninja. Quick backdrop. Oh, Rennie scoots inside before Rian can get a punch in. Oh, okay, climbing up top, but Rian with a 
quick punch takes care of that. And then he tumbles to the outside. Well, the ninja slowly getting back to his feet over there. Who's he coming after? Looks like he's aiming. A nice short arm clothesline. Aiming for Rian with a drop kick to the knee. But the big guy does not fall. A nice elbow to the face. And another. And Rian just waves off that punch. And another short arm clothesline. Rian managed to throw some big punches out there, fighting off everybody. And short arm clotheslines for everybody as well. Whoa! Ninja throwing hands and just misses entirely. Sorry, I'm trying to check the delay. It's actually kind of confusing watching the actual match and then watching the replay. So, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, back to the action. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, Rainy with a suplex. Ah, oh, he should have went for the... Well, I guess he can't go for pin on the outside. That's the problem. They're both, all three men are slugging it out on the outside. But even though anything goes, you still have to win it in the ring. Two of these guys are going to have to get inside. And somebody's going to have to get a pin. Quite a big uppercut. Oh, Rian was going for something big there, but Ninja broke it up. Well, Rian finally taking some of my advice. <laughs> oh, tries to throw Rini in. But gets chop blocked by the Ninja taking down the ground, and Rini comes back out. <laughs> and everybody misses. Well, a nice floating DDT out of nowhere by Renegade. You guys are really duking it out up here at the top of the ring. And then the ninja gets thrown into the apron. Oh, throws another big punch. He tries with a suplex, but the ninja counters. <laughs> Rian's right there. Start stomping away. Yeah, Rian wisely standing outside taking a breather. That's a good idea. Let the two smaller men air each other out. Oh, nice! Lumbar check. Oh, goes for the cover. Ah, uh, but does not make it happen. Rian with the suplex and that baseball bat just ominously sitting there. Sure would be a shame if somebody picked it up. Oh, nice gut buster. Oh no. Oh, I thought Rian was setting up for a big old Superman punch. <laughs> and Rian just close lines the air. Oh, nice suplex goes for the pin. Rainey's not having any of that. Breaks it up immediately. Picks up Rian and slams him down. Climbs up top. Oh! Oh, and Rian spears him out of midair. Oh, but the ninja's, angry blue ninja's not having any of that. Not going to let that pin happen. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Rian just swinging away. 
tosses Ryu into the corner and Renegade pounding away. This would have been a perfect opportunity for a double team, but they mess up the chance. Goes for the Northern Light Suplex. Doesn't go for the pin. Smart move. Not with the Angry Blue Ninja right there watching over him. Oh, tries to go for something. Oh, but Ninja goes for a reverse Boston Crab. Is he going to make Renegade tap out before Rian can get to his feet? No, he is not. Rian quickly breaks up that submission. Drags Rian to the end, middle of the ring. Is he going to go for a cover? There's no way that's going to happen. Ninja's not going to let that happen. Tosses Rian into the corner. Puts him up on the top turnbuckle. Renegade's going to let this play out, I hope. That would be a smart idea. You might want to move, Rennie. You might want to move, Rennie. Or not. Flips Rian over. Smashes his knee. Up, oh, the ninja's going outside. And coming back in. But Rian fights out of that. What? Not for much. Rini with a nice fireman's carry. Beautiful Falcon. Well, that was no, that was the Michinoku driver. Oh! Whoa. Drags him down with an armbar. Oh! Rini with a gigantic punch, putting Rini on his back. Ninja capitalizes with a quick kick. Oh! And setting up for something big. Could it be? Here comes a Superman punch. <laughs> oh, and the Ninja Cat right there with a drop kick. Oh no, could he steal this one from him? One, two. Oh, just barely. Rian gets up in time. The Ninja was being slick trying to steal that pin away from Rian. Rian hit him with a su hits Rini with a Superman punch. And the ninja tries to take out Rian with a drop kick long enough to get that pin, but Rian was up just in time. Woo. Oh, Rian's setting up for something big again. Maybe going for another spear. Oh, and plows through the ninja. Or tries to, but gets countered. Wow. And I have no idea what just happened there, but he goes for the pin. One, two, um, let's watch the replay of that, please. All right, here's a very up close view of that lumbar check. <laughs> the ninja goes for the fan. Don't worry, guys, we're going to cover this in the replay. Oh, I'm re wafting him. Close line up there. Still manages to punch him. Picks him up for a quick power bomb and goes for the pin. But Renegade was there to break that one up. Here you see the ninja going for that reverse Boston Crab. Goes for the spear, but oh, the ninja countered into a DDT. That's what happened. All right, let's see if we can figure this out, guys. Somehow. I'm, 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 um, and your winner, again, a former ZV champion in his own right, the Angry Blue Ninja, um, definitely some controversial shenanigans happening there. Yeah, well... <laughs> but... Yeah, that happened. For real, that was just one hell of a glitch. I think what happened is... Rennie tried to grab Rian, and the ninja tried to grab Rian, and the ninja got it, and somehow grabbed Rennie at the same time, and just... Wham, bam. Okay. So yeah, that happened. Um, 
yeah, good job, Angry Blue Ninja. Um, we're just gonna simulate that because, like I said, that doesn't matter. All of tonight's matches are finished. You like? Yes. Okay, so, all right, now that the first show was over, these are just some rivalries that have cropped up, apparently. All right, let's look at, see, there's no news. Tonight's big match is on ZV Showcase. It'll be Nightmare versus Maje. Um, and then you got a couple of t tag matches. That'll be interesting. Um, we have the Bloodlines against Tony and Jeff, and then we have IZV going against some ninjas. Hmm. Um, no big hot rivalries going on, but that was the wrong button. Sorry about that. Now that we got that silliness out of the way, each night we'll have five matches. But let's see what... Let's see a look at the calendar. Right now, that's the only... No, let's not do that. Um... But yeah, the next night. Um, our first match will be Dr. Feelgood against Neo Forte, which is apparently a rivalry. Uh, we'll have another triple threat match between Supremus, Benny, and Random. Um... And then we're gonna have a tag team match, IZV versus... ZTRL and the Angry Blue Ninja, pair of ninjas. Um, also going to have a tag team match between Zero and Cyber Bloodline and Tony and Jeff. And then, of course, Nightmare and Maje are going to duke it out for some strange reason. Um, okay, real quick, guys. Honestly, I'm really into this and kind of want to keep going. Um... If you guys don't want to watch, that's cool. Um, and we might stop here tonight. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether we go ahead and do another night. Or the only thing that worries me is that these tag team matches might take a while. Um, but I don't know if we haven't seen a normal tag team match, I don't think. Anyway, um, I'll leave it up to you guys if I keep streaming or if I just call it and we do this another night. Because it is kind of late. Alright guys, so yeah, I think this is going to be it for tonight. Um, actually, I, I know what I'm going to do. You guys, I know what we're going to do, don't worry. Um, this is going to be it for the official show. Um, the whole ZV unit, the whole 
ZV Universe thing. I think this is going to be a lot of fun if you guys enjoy this. We're going to do this as often as I can. I mean, because I can't always stream because I can't always just talk. But, um, yeah, this is definitely a lot of fun. I look forward to see where this is going. Um, I'm going to pause the stream real quick just so we'll save this. And then I'm going to start it up real quick. If you can hang around, feel free. If not, thanks for tuning in. You guys have fun. I'll see you later.